Hey guys, it's Jessica. Today we're gonna do my November favorites and fails. I have at least one, well, like one and a half ish fails. We'll talk about it. I have a handful of beauty items and then I've got some laundry items, clothes, uh, coffee mug, just so many different things. I'm so excited. So let's dive um, in. We'll go ahead and start with something non-beauty. This sweet little mug. This is like the mug that broke Instagram. It was at Target, $5. I stumbled upon it. I was literally at Target and I needed a bowl because I was making like a chocolate trifle for a like friends giving thing. And so I'm like running around Target because we only have a couple hours. I'm like, I have got to find this bowl. And I found one, but then I also stumbled upon this little sweet bad boy on an end cap. They had so many cute Christmas mugs. I had so much restraint, but I had to buy this one. I know that a lot of people are reporting that it's sold out where they are, but you, I'm pretty sure you can get it online. Don't quote me, but if I can find a link, I will put it down below. Oh, that's str strong copy. So, this is something I've been so excited to talk about. This little $3 product was the only, other than lip balm, the only lip product I wore on our two week trip to Europe, and it was the Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. I've gotta be honest, I am not a huge fan of tinted lip balms, and so when I'd heard Emily Noel talk about this, she's talked about this so much, I'd always kinda in my head, not roll my eyes at her, but you know, I'm like, it's, I just know I wouldn't like it. Like it looked good on her, but I'm like, no, it's gonna get outside the lines, it won't look right. I don't know, I just had this stigma in my head because of ones I'd tried in the past. There's something magical about this that I, I have it on my lips today. It just looks so healthy. And even as it wears off that like light pink tint or maybe a little bit more berry tinted, but it's not like deep dark. I mean, you can see it. That tint stays. And so I would see pictures of myself in Europe and I can put a few on the screen right now, but I would see these pictures of myself and be like, oh my gosh, I hadn't reapplied in hours and I thought I had nothing on, but it still looked nice on the lips. So. There's something magical, but here's the best part. Well, the fact that it's $3, it smells like blueberry Kool-Aid. Oh my gosh. I have made, every time I opened it, I made my husband smell it too. This is the best smelling thing. Better even than the Fenty Gloss Balm. I love that. This smells even better, I know. So, highly recommend, $3. It's worth a shot and I think you'll fall in love. It took me maybe two or three uses of it to fall in love. So definitely give it more than one use. And I do feel like there's a period where you put it on and then like a minute later is when it starts to look magical. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Another lip product I am loving, actually discovered in that same Trying Beauty Guru favorites, is this darn Milani Easy Liner Lip Pencil. It's in the shade Most Natural and that's specifically what I'm loving here. I actually used it today. I will use this like nude type lip liner with like anything. And my thing is right now I'm really into like lip glosses, especially clear sparkly ones. And I feel like my lips can look a little bit undone unless I put something like this on. And this has been so perfect for that. I'll line my lips and even color them in a bit. Then I'll go on with a super sparkly lip gloss and it looks so gorgeous. And so this is just one of those things that it's become a hero in my collection very, very quickly and I love it and it just lives in my purse. I had to go fish both of these out of my purse. Next is this Nabla Skin Glazing Glow Powder. It's in the shade Truth. This was sent to me in PR, the other two I bought myself. I loved, I remember opening this and being like, oh yeah, there's a highlighter and then this blush. But the blush is what I'm wearing today and I don't have a highlighter on. Doesn't it look like I'm wearing a highlighter? There's something so gorgeous about this blush that gives you that glowy, like holiday lit from within blushed look. And then I didn't even need any highlighter. I'm honestly. So now see, I just fell even more in love with it. I think the packaging is pretty. I think it's pretty that the powder is like kind of raised and has that pretty design in it. I've been using this like crazy and the design is still there. Let me see. I know that Nabla can be hard to get your hands on and they only sell some of their products on Ulta. Let me see if they're selling this on Ulta. They are. $24 though. This was a little bit pricier than I would have guessed, but to be honest, it's just one of those shades that looks so gorgeous. I don't know that I found one exactly like this at the drugstore. Maybe that one um, Neutrogena one in Rosy Glow. That one's, it's not quite the same, but it still has a little bit of glow to it and it's a very similar tone. So if you wanted to cut how much you're paying in half, you could definitely go with that one and it's very similar. It's not the same, but it's similar. One that you're gonna roll your eyes at because you'll be like, yeah, you and everyone else, ma'am. But the freaking butter bronzer, I forgot about this bad boy. And having it back in my life, I can't stop using it. I just feel like the tone of this one, I just got the standard bronzer shade, now they have a couple other shades. 
I felt like the one that was lighter, the more I used it, the it was just too light for me, but this one, I have it on today as well. I have it up here and here, and it just looks so healthy and nice, and it here's why this, I think, is better than pretty much every other powder bronzer I've used, is that it melts into the skin, and most powders don't do that. Most powders will kind of sit on top. Bronzers, I struggle with because I feel like no matter what brush I'll use with different bronzers, they'll still look patchy, especially in this area here. But this one never looks patchy. It always looks so beautiful. So I know some people love the smell, some people hate it. I'm one that loves it, but I can see, I mean, it is strong, but I just love it. I kind of wish the packaging weren't quite as thick. It does come with like this little spongy thing here. Um, I've never applied it with that. I don't think I would like applying it with that. If you feel like you can't find a bronzer that doesn't look weird or patchy or just like too much on your skin, give this a try. Even if you've tried it before, maybe give it another try because I had just forgotten just how good it is now that I've tried even more bronzers. Ooh, let's talk about one I have a big complaint about. So two big complaints about actually. So I still have some Sunday Riley products in my collection. And if you've heard recently through various sources that Sunday Riley, I guess, and I'm sure they're not the only company that does this, but I guess they've been having employees write like fake positive reviews for their products on various websites. So really, really skeevy, especially considering we're talking about skincare where, you know, your experiences and reviews, like if I'm buying expensive skincare and Sunday Riley is expensive and you're reading reviews thinking, you know, I might buy this, let me see what other people are saying. It's obviously hugely wrong and unethical to have a bunch of fake reviews on there. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna move on from that, but that's one huge con, but I already had all these. So I was like, well, I don't wanna waste them. I wanna use them. So I'd open this Luna, Sleeping Night Oil. It says it's a retinoid oil, can help with the appearance of pores and wrinkles, um, can help with redness and aging. You guys, the smell of this smells like old tea. It smells so bad, it, that's, a, that's dead on. It smells like tea that's been steeping for three days because you forgot to drink it and you left the bag in it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it. I don't like it. I really, truly don't. I've used this a couple of times. It's a dark blue oil, which I'm like, okay, where are they getting the blue? It says blue tansy. So it's just kind of weird that it was blue in tone. Look at this. But it's that smell. I was kind of hoping it would smell like blue Kool-Aid and I was so sorely disappointed. It feels like a nice oil, but look at that. Ugh, I can smell it from here. So it's just one of those things that maybe I'll try to use it a couple more times just to see like, can I get over the smell, Jessica? Can you move on? But I, I really don't like it. And every night, you know, I was kind of using it a couple times a week just to get my skin, see how my skin reacts. I don't know, man. <laughs> and it's always a shame too. It's a shame all of the things I just told you because man, Sunday Riley's packaging is so pretty, but boy, they charge a pretty penny like Drunk Elephant. But at least I feel like I can kind of trust Drunk Elephant. All right, another beauty item I'm loving is this, this, this is actually really old. Ew, and it's like really dirty. Jessica, class it up, girl. It's this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I randomly fished this out of my stash recently. It's more than half gone. And I've had, I've probably owned this one for years. It says 18 months. It's fine, it's fine. Really, it's fine. It's not the same as like their translucent powder, which I really like their translucent powder too. But this is for the under eye and it actually has a slight shimmer, but even that, you can't see it. Like, And I used to not like that, but I've realized as I've gotten a little bit older that that slight shimmer, and I, I'm, I'm telling you, you won't pick up on it. It's not like a highlight or anything, but it's so ever so slight that I feel like it really does help to brighten the area. So I've been using this a lot lately to set my under eye, and I really feel like it brightens and smooths. Now, I almost didn't mention this because I did discover the number seven, Lift and Luminate Powder, brand new discovery, but it's so, so good at blurring and setting the under eye, and it's so much cheaper. So that one I think is like $12 at Target and Walgreens, and it is lovely. It's not a loose powder though, but I do think it's really, really nice at blurring, but I don't think it brightens as much, but it's so good. So I wanted to mention that, not as a favor, but as an alternative, and also probably eventually a favorite, <laughs> just too soon. It's too early on in the relationship, but this one I've loved for a long time and I'm so excited I'm using it again. It's amazing. I can just sense it. I feel like it's gonna be a long video. I gotta keep hustling. I gotta keep chugging along. Oh, this was the half one that I like it, I think, but it's, 
I like it, but again, the I, I just have questions. Okay, okay, okay. So this is from Lush. This was sent to me in PR. The Laura Mercier I bought myself. Same with the butter bronzer. I'm trying to be better about explaining which things I bought and which ones were PR, etc. Lush uh, sent me some of their holiday line. This was the first thing I pulled out of their little holiday collection. It's their shower jelly and the scent or whatever is drummer's drumming, which is just cute. The idea is that it's this weird blob, right? And you can get it wet and you lather it up and then you, you know, use it as like a body wash, shower gel, whatever. I was like, okay, well, how's this gonna work? So I put it in my shower and I like kind of let it get wet and then I grabbed my loofah and I kind of rubbed it in the top and suddenly it was like sud, sud, sud. So there was like beautiful bubbles everywhere. It was amazing. It really suds up fast. I thought it wasn't gonna work to be honest. I was very skeptical, but it was just lovely. So I was able to get like half my body and then kind of suds it up again and do the other half. I, I like the smell, but it's not my favorite. I, my question is I've now used this for long enough that I'm like, so it's not really making a dent. I'm like, so this just lasts forever? Like, how does this work? And so that's the only thing that I don't like that I'm continually getting it wet and then I'll kind of drain it out, you know, before I close it. But I'm like, well, should I leave it open and let some of the water evaporate? Like, is it gonna get weird and gross? So I don't know, but it does say agave syrup helps winter skin hold on to moisture. So I figure I'm gonna use it the rest of December. Okay, so it says used by December 3rd of 2020, but best used fresh. So I don't know. I think it's one of those things that it, it, it's a cool idea and it's interesting, but it's a little bit freaky to me in that way. Someone talking, am I, am I being weird about it? Maybe I'm being weird. That's all, that's all I have to say. That's why it was like a half. I like it, but it, I just wanted to talk about it. I just wanted to talk to someone about it. I wanted to talk about this. I found it in the travel aisle. It's the Mrs. Meyer Clean Day Hand Sanitizer. It's the basil scent. It does have ethyl alcohol in it, so it's gonna help kill germs, at least that's my understanding, but it's got aloe vera extract, glycerin, but it doesn't have parabens, phthalates, or artificial colors. The scent is basil, and I'll spray like three or four sprays and just kind of like you would apply hand sanitizer. And I love that you can spray it. I just, I don't know what it is, but every time I use a hand sanitizer gel, which I still use, I still like, I always get too much. And then you're like awkwardly sharing it with, like I'm sharing it with my husband. I'm like, this is weird. I don't know why, but I love this. And the smell is so pleasant. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely a pleasant, clean scent. And so I'd never really heard anyone talk about this. I like the brand. This is a brand I love. Like for me, Mrs. Myers, the past few years, each holiday season, I'll buy like their holiday scents of the Mrs. Myers hand soap for our kitchen and then usually dish soap. And so this year I'm trying the Iowa Pine. I always get mine on Grove's website. I do have a referral link. That's my connection to that brand. I get a referral credit to use on their site, but then I think you get a free five piece Mrs. Myers like holiday gift set. I know those sell out fast. So if you are interested, I'll link that below. Again, no pressure. You can certainly buy Mrs. Myers. They sell them at regular grocery stores too. They also have like a clove one. That one smells really good and spicy. But though, I guess the reason I'm bringing that up is those get me like in the holiday spirit. So then every time I'm washing dishes, I'm smelling that holiday scent. It's the little things, man. Oh, but another thing I do usually buy on Grove and I just stock up is the Method Fragrance Boosters. Now, I, I know some people are gonna be like, Jessica, you really shouldn't use fragrance on your clothes. It can irritate skin, especially if you have a kid. I, I'm fully aware of that. Method is one of the better brands when it comes to like natural um, stuff, but it does still have fragrance in it. So you, I mean, you know you're buying something with fragrance when it's called fragrance boosters. We don't typically put these in with my daughter's loads and we use an unscented um, detergent right now, but we put these in with ours and with our towels and you guys, it is the best smell. This is the ginger mango. We have exclusively bought this for the past year. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And actually, lingers on your clothes. I'll literally place an order on Grove for like three of these at a time, just so I'm stocked up. We always get compliments like, oh, your clothes smell good or your towels smell good. And we're like, thank you. Why are you smelling our towels? <laughs> and you really don't need to use a lot of these. So you can make this last a decent amount of time. Don't come for me. I know fragrance boosters aren't for everyone, okay? Okay, I have another half. I just got these at Target last week. They're these stars above little slippers. They're so soft, they're so cozy. It's one of those things that, you know, you're probably only gonna wear them for a winter or two and then they'll be done for. They start to get weird and I don't know that this is the kind you can wash. And the reason I can pretty much tell you that with certainty is, I was wearing these for like the second day ever. I had taken them off and my husband was sitting in the room talking to me and he looked at my feet and goes, what is all over your feet? 
<laughs> it was this fur from inside <laughs> all over my feet. He literally was like, I thought you were turning into a goblin. I'm like, I thought I was turning into a goblin. So I don't know what's going on. I'm like, why would they make it so that that happens? But it's happened every time I've worn them for more than an hour or two. So that's kind of a bummer, but I do love them. I mean, I'm gonna wear the crap out of them. Uh, speaking of Target though, this sweater is from the brand Knox Rose. I don't know if that's one that has, I don't think they have a whole section of like Knox Rose stuff. This sweater is so cozy and comfy. I'll pop on the screen an Instagram story where I was wearing this, I think it was like a boomerang. It is the coziest thing ever. One of my best friends saw that and ended up texting me and being like, I have that same one in the other color. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want both colors. I think there are two, this is like the blush rose and then there's like, maybe a gray. So I really am thinking about buying the other one, but I'm like, no, Jessica, you don't need it. You don't need it, you don't need it. But it's just so cozy. I was wearing it in my Dollar Tree haul and I had someone ask if it was inside out. I'm like, no, it's just the way it is. But I love that. I think it's cute that it's kind of like that worn looking sweater and it's just, it's so wonderful. It's longer. I don't think it's necessarily long, long, like where you'd wear it like over leggings. Although to be quite candid, this shirt is not long. It's a normal and I'm wearing it with leggings. I don't know. I just break all the rules, I guess. Next favorite is, okay, this little thing I have in the back of my phone. So this is just a case from, I'm sure I bought it on Amazon. I can link it for really cheap. But these, it was a pack of six and they just stick on the back of your phone. So you don't remove it unless you're like remove removing it, but you can't just pop it on and off. I put it on before our trip because I thought, okay, if Gigi's just having a total meltdown, we can put on like Sophia the First or Little Baby Bum. But also it's just nice if we're out and about and I don't want someone to easily be able to take my phone out of my hand. You can just loop it in and you can text, whatever, take pictures, you can turn it. It is an all-in-one little tool. They have like rose gold hardware. They have ones that are like black and silver. I think the pack I got was like two black, two silver, and two rose gold. Anyway, it's so cheap and it's so easy and anyone can use them. And I just think it is the most genius, simple thing. I'd been looking at the loopy cases and I still want one of those, like the leopard one where you, it's like a little loop you can put your hand through, but it's fabric because the one huge downside to this is if you have a phone that charges through the back of the phone but with this you can't and you can't just pop this on and off so I'm like I guess I can take the whole case off and I'm like that's silly so now I'm just charging it the normal way which is fine but it's just something to keep in mind that it does affect that but I'm working on a gift guide videos very very soon and this is definitely on there as like a stocking stuffer it's such an easy thing that you could split amongst different people too you buy a pack of six and give them to six different people so last thing, I have tried to remember to always mention like a song that I'm loving right now. And the one, I'm in a Coldplay mood. I go through these seasons of my year, not literally, but literally, where like I go through phases where I'm like really loving Lord for a while. And then I'm really loving, you know, for example, Coldplay right now. And I'm really loving Coldplay. And the song that when I was kind of, I was shuffling through, I'm like, it's gotta be a Coldplay song this month because I've listened to them so much and I've loved them for so many years, but the song Us Against the World, go give it a listen. I can link like a lyric video or something on YouTube, whatever they have. They might have a music video, I don't know. I don't like watch their music videos, you know? And I think the thing that I love about Coldplay is that so many of their lyrics and this song is a good example of it. They just use so much figurative language and I love that because I think for us, the listener, we can interpret a lot of what they're singing in a lot of different ways. And I feel like I could listen to one song by Coldplay in a certain mood, feel certain feelings, and then be in a different mood a few weeks later and listen to it and glean a totally different meaning from it. So I just think that's cool. And I, oh, I love Coldplay so much. I know some people don't get it and they're like, oh yeah, you like Coldplay. I'm like, yeah, I do. What about it, huh? All right, I'll stop talking because I told you I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be <laughs> A long one. I just edited a long one today too. I'm like, oh, Jesse, you're in for it. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will probably not do a December favorites and fails because I'm probably gonna wait and then do in January, early January, my Jammy Awards that I've done every year for a very long time, which is basically my best of the year. And I don't like to do the December favorites and that because it just seems like, well, I don't know. But I am gonna wait to do my jammies until, <laughs> Uh, I should do with my jammy awards in my jammies. What have I been missing out on all this time? Hey, speaking of jammies, do you guys have any recommendations? They have to be long pants. I have short pant little sets, but in the winter, I need to be sleeping in like pajama pants. I get too cold. 
Do you have any recommendations, specific links, whatever, for pajama sets that are maybe like short sleeve on the top but long sleeve on the bottom? They don't all have to be the flannel button down, but I, I wanna get like cuter pajamas. A lot of them are really worn down, the ones that I have. They were from when I was pregnant or like postpartum, so they're a little bit baggier on me. And I don't know, I just feel like I need to freshen up my like PJs. I'd like to get a couple sets and maybe all that's what I'll ask for for Christmas from Tyler. I don't know, thanks ahead of time. Anyway, this video, all right. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.